Hey, what's up everybody? Tom here again playing Kerbal Space Program, building a pusher prop aircraft. I've just added a hinge to make this thing a vertical takeoff and landing capable propeller aircraft. Thinking about adding six props, but I'm going to cut it down to three. And I want to show you how to deploy these props so that you can control them. Here you can see I'm deploying the propeller. That's key to controlling it with action groups later. Um, to counter the rotation of a single prop, I'm adding an additional turboshaft engine and some props, same configuration. We'll add three, deploy, and the key here, because this will be spinning in the other direction, is to invert the deploy direction. And here you can see the hinge that will allow us to shift the rotors into a vertical takeoff and landing configuration just modifying the target angle to see if this looks sane before we proceed with the rest of the build. And because this is a pusher prop design, I can't put anything behind the props, which logically leads to a split fuselage design with two main sections split off the center of the craft, um, kind of balancing the whole design uh, this also allows you to put landing gear uh, on the sides of the craft to give you some stability when you're taking off and landing. And you can see most of the build after I added the wings is just figuring out where I want the balance to be when I'm in horizontal flight or vertical flight. The cal controller is key to controlling this aircraft. First, to easily control the vertical takeoff and landing, edit action groups and select the cal controller, add the hinge as one of the controller fields, and then adjust the target angle for vertical and horizontal flight. Then add the cal controller itself to an action group, and here I've assigned the play and play direction to action group one which allows me to easily control the transition from vertical to horizontal flight at the push of a single button. Then to control the torque of the turboshaft engines, I like to use the main throttle axis group. So select that axis group and add the torque setting for each of the turboshaft engines. The trickiest part of controlling a prop plane is balancing the torque of the rotor or turboshaft engine with your current speed and an optimal propeller authority. So that's what we'll set up next by selecting one of the props on each engine and assigning the authority limiter as a field in the translate up down axis group. So this is the group that is bound to the I and K keys by default and I find that it's a logical spot to control propeller authority with your right hand while you're controlling everything else with your left hand. So now we can control our hinge with action group one, our engine torque with the main throttle, and our propeller authority with I and K, which again are bound to the translate up and down axis group by default. The next thing to do, which is absolutely critical for a good VTOL design, is to center the vertical engine thrust directly in line with the center of mass of the aircraft. This is a little different with a propeller aircraft because you can't view the thrust of the props in the hangar. Instead, I like to use the center of the nose cone as a guide and align that with the center of the mass of the craft. I do this with the tanks empty, then I carefully add fuel to the tanks to make sure that I retain the same balance for the duration of flight. Now that we're ready to take off, hit F12 to enable the aerodynamic forces overlay, tap shift to increase the torque in the turboshaft engines, and try to increase the amount of lift produced by our props by tweaking I and K. What we're looking for here is a bunch of yellow coming out of the top of the props, and if you recall from our action groups, our propeller authority is bound to I and K. So I'm tweaking I and K to try to increase the amount of yellow I see coming out of the top of the props. And now that we've picked up some altitude, I'm going to hit one to move our hinge and transition from vertical flight to horizontal flight. 
and now we're cutting it a little bit close but we made it and we're traveling horizontally and I'm continuing to tweak I and K to increase the amount of yellow coming out of the front of the aircraft at this point. Uh, I didn't like how unstable I was during takeoff vertically so we're going to go back to the space plane hangar and I'm going to add a few reaction wheels to the aircraft. I'm hoping that this will give us a little bit more control when we're moving at slow speed and uh, will come in handy for landing when we're in vertical flight mode. And the next step here is to add fuel and carefully balance the center of mass aligned with the thrust that's going to be produced by the props. So let's try this again. Hit shift to increase the torque on the turboshaft engines just a little bit and I think next we should enable the aerodynamic forces overlay again to monitor thrust produced by the props. Uh, tweak that a little bit with I and K and you can see we're taking off really easily. It's uh, very stable now with the reaction wheels in place and once we pick up enough altitude this is looking good we'll press 1 to transition to horizontal flight again. You can see that's a really smooth transition flying out over the ocean cutting ahead a little bit. This aircraft is pretty maneuverable we'll make our way back to the space plane hangar again with the overlay tweaking I and K in horizontal flight to optimize for top speed. You can see my speed is increasing there. So this thing is actually working quite well now and we're making our way back to the space center. I'm going to transition back to vertical flight and we're going to attempt to land on the space center itself. And it looks like I'm going to overshoot, definitely going to overshoot cutting ahead, definitely overshot, uh, but with these reaction wheels I can turn and control the craft really easily in vertical flight mode. And again I'm using I and K to tweak the amount of thrust produced by the props when we're in this configuration. And we're going to try to very carefully center ourselves over the landing pad and pull up just slightly so I don't go over and reduce the amount of thrust coming out of the props and slowly attempt to land on the helicopter landing pad on the top of the Space Center here. And I found that with these props and with I and K controlling the propeller authority you can really really get some fine control as you're attempting to land. Pretty smooth that's pretty much it. If you liked the video and you found this helpful, remember to subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting some more videos out there that should be helpful with the new Breaking Ground expansion. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks everybody.